In this video, we're going to create a very basic online registration and you'll see how easy it is. I'm going to the header, selecting Organizations, and on the left, Add New Organization. I need a name for it. In this case, it's going to be a Spanish class. So it's Spanish 1. I'm going to put a room number. I have the campus selected and the leader type is what I want, but you can change it if you need to. But it is not a main fellowship, so I will not select that. I'll click the blue Submit button. Now my organization has been created. I want to move over from the People tab to the right to the Registration tab. I have the option to show help. This is going to give me a definition of every item on the page. Its page is extremely helpful. Make sure you click that before you click Edit so that you can see it while you're editing. And I want to select Join Organization as the registration type. And I'm going to put a registration end date. You don't have to, but you can select that if you need it. There are a lot of other options on this page, but that's all I'm going to use for now for this simple registration. And I'll click Save. Now you notice I have the option to add fees, to add questions, but I have a Messages tab. I'm going to omit the questions and just go straight to Messages. You notice that Ann Carpenter is the online notify person. When you're logged in, you will be that online notify person. So you can click Edit if you need to change it. You can select another user and move that name to the top and now the confirmation will come from the person at the top. But any other users that are selected will also receive the staff notification whenever someone registers. Click Save Changes at the bottom of that dialog box and now enter your confirmation subject. Thank you for registering. Now underneath that is the confirmation body and you're going to want to put a very basic confirmation message. Okay, so you see I have added a confirmation message. I'm using some email replacement codes. I've got first in curly braces, and that will put the person's first name, ORG, which will put the name of the organization, and down here, details. Now you don't need that if you're not asking questions, but I'm just adding that so you can remember to add that if you need it for other registrations. It puts all of the information that they've selected. Now I'm going to click Save, but don't leave this page until you go to the top right and click Save here. That's the blue button. That saves all the changes on that page. So now you're ready to test it. We have another video about testing it more thoroughly, but for this example I'm just going to go to the gear. I'm going to select Try Registration. I'm going to right-click and copy the link address. And now I'm going to go to another browser where I'm not logged in. I'm going to paste that link, and hit enter, and here it is. This is what the registration looks like for someone who is not logged in. You can choose to log in or you can find your record. If it finds it with just the date of birth, you don't have to put the email address or phone. And here it is. There are no questions, so I click Submit. I'm not going to register anyone else. I'm going to finish the registration, and then it will tell me on the screen that I've completed it for Spanish 1, and then I'll get a confirmation in the, mail, in the email. Now I'll go back to my organization, to the People tab, and when I refresh the page, you'll see that Ann Carpenter has registered and that's what is what will happen every time someone registers for this organization. That's how simple it is.